Good morning, Summit Campus. I'm your morning announcements host, Brandon McKay, and today is Thursday, November 3rd, and the weather today is predicted to be sunny with a high of 57 degrees. And seniors still looking to do the senior photos, there's an amateur photographer, a men's photos, who is looking to grow their experience and knowledge within photography while offering very affordable prices for services, which include, but are not limited to, senior pictures, portraits, and group photos. And remember seniors, not just any pictures will qualify to appear in the yearbook. Senior photos must meet certain requirements. Some of the requirements include facing the camera, no use of extreme filters, no selfies, and no extreme angles. More information on these requirements can be found on the senior page of the Reynoldsburg website. The Reynoldsburg Winter Guard is holding their clinics November 14th, 16th, and 17th from 5 to 8 p.m. in the Taylor Road Elementary Gym. Come be a part of this award-winning program, no experience necessary. And don't forget to spend your runway tickets at the reward store, which is open in the program load offices during the first 15 minutes of every lunch period on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So stop by and grab some goodies. Hey y'all, I'm Julia Johnson, and today for lunch, you'll be having specialty pizza, waffle fries, side salad, and diced peaches. Today's daily special is fish sandwich. And now, time for your joke of the day. What type of music do planets enjoy? Neptunes. <laughs> the runway. Good morning, Summit Campus. I'm Mia Lovis here with your Daily Wind Sports Report. So, here's a recap of the past few days' activities. Now, here's a fun sports fact. Men's hockey has the fastest swing speed of any sport reaching around 103 miles per hour. Now, as far as our winter sports are concerned, the boys' basketball trials start November 4th. Trials for all sophomores, juniors, and seniors are at Stomach Campus at 3.30 p.m. November 5th, trials for all freshmen are at Stomach Campus at 10 a.m. If anyone makes one of those teams, their first practice will be November 7th. The bowling team trials begin November 3rd at 4 p.m. at Holiday Lanes on East Broad Street. The season officially starts the first week of December. Practices will be held Mondays and Fridays from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. up until the season starts. In and hey swimmers or anyone interested in swimming, practices have started this week, but it's not too late to join the team. Practices will be held in the morning from 5.30 to 6.45 a.m. at the Jefferson Country Club. If you have any questions, email Coach Dorset at the email address is below. So as always, good luck and go Raiders. What's good, Berg? It's Rex Dornan from Bear. And Emerson Schroeder from Faith Club. And we bring to you Samaritan's Purse, Operation Christmas Child. The initiative is simple. Start off by getting a standard shoebox and decide if you want to pack it for a boy or for a girl. Select a wow item like a doll, a soccer ball with a pump, or a stuffed animal. Items for the shoebox can be located at your family dollar, Dollar Tree, or Dollar General. Donate $10 to cover the cost of shipping for the box as it will be shipped across the globe. And lastly, drop off the shoebox in the office for collection by November 5th. The simple act of making a shoebox can be life-changing for children. These kids do not have Christmas presents. They are in dire and traumatic situations with little hope. By making a shoebox, you can show a child that the world has not turned its back on them. Make a shoebox to give a child a spark of hope. The light. This is the good news, and we've got a responsibility to take this message to the ends of the earth. Good morning, Summit Campus. I'm Carmel Matuba, and I hope you were paying attention to the videos this week since I'll be asking you a question pertaining to them. So, the question is, who won the Thursday night NFL matchups last night? Do you know? Good. Now scan this QR code to answer today's question for your chance to win a prize from the morning announcements team. Your name will be drawn and announced next week if you are our lucky winner. And if there's any information that you would want to get out to our staff and students during the morning announcements, please feel free to scan the QR code listed below. 